All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can validate the webhook and Zoom app. So let's go over here to our Zoom app and we're going to build app, select webhook only app. And let's just give this a name. Fill in all the informa information that's necessary. I'm just going to put this for now. And we can leave all that blank. Okay, so we're going to enable the event subscriptions, add event subscriptions, and we're going to give this a name. Okay, so we're going to need the endpoint URLs. And what we're going to do first is create a webhook. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, right here for the HT, uh, HTTP uh, method, we're going to put host. The path can be whatever you want it to be. That's going to be part of the ending URL. So I'm just going to put this right here. Okay. Now, uh, for the response, we're going to uh, select when last note finishes, and we're going to leave it as first. Um, oh, we're going to leave it as um, response uh, data first entry JSON. All right, cool. Now we're going to grab this URL and we'll go ahead and, and do this um, with a test and paste it here. Now the next step is um, I'm actually just going to like listen for the test event and click validate. It's going to give us an error, but at least what we're going to get is the information uh, over here that we'll need for the next node. We're going to go back right here. And then the, the next item that you would need to uh, add is a crypto node. Okay. In here on the actions, we're going to select HMAC. The type is going to be SHA-256. And the value here is going to be the plain uh, token. Actually, this is uh, incorrect. So there's going to be some modification that uh, needs uh, to be done for that code to work. And um, this would be the correct one right here. Okay, so JSON body payload uh, plain uh, plain token. From my understanding, it's like looking at um, all three instead of just directly one. Um, it needs to look at all three right here, right? All right, so over here on the property uh, name, I'm gonna uh, give it this title. Okay. And then over here for the secret, I'm going to go back to the app and right here above, we're going to copy the secret token right here and put it there. Okay. All right. So now to the final step, we're going to go back and we're going to add a field set, edit field set. And yeah, look, we can we can um, have that information over here, but we're going to add a field. And so this is case sensitive. So you got to make sure that you do um, put it as it, it is uh, shown. So you'll see a uh, plain token, right? Okay. And you'll drag that into the value. Oops, uh, let's see. I want to make sure I got the right one. OK. Then we're going to add a, a field.
remember it has to have the exact same uh, naming convention. It's case sensitive, so we'll put that like that. Instead of dragging this over here, um, there's a, a certain you know code that works better for this so to, uh, to validate. And I'm just gonna paste it here. Um, you guys can pause the video to copy what that that is. But um, if I were to uh, drag this here, it's not gonna work, and it's uh, totally different um, than what what I've inputted here. So if you can see. It looks different. It does show that it's correct, but for what we need to do, it's gonna, it needs to be this one right here. Okay, cool. So now that we have that set up, I'm just gonna save that. All right, we're gonna test workflow. Go back over here and then we can click validate. All right, so it's validated. Uh, you can go ahead and add anything that you wanna add, right? Like that, and continue to activate it, right? But this is uh, the, the, the test one, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna like, stop that right there. We're going to activate it, and then we're going to go for the production URL, grab that, paste it there. Let me just save it. OK. We're going to test the workflow. Go back right here, click validate, and there you go. So now you have the, the one that is for production and you can continue and your app is activated.